a really short flight to Oslo, it's only an hour and, a, hour and ten minutes, so we should be there really quickly by midday. And this will be a new country, excited to get a new city. We're now at the place to get the baggage, but the belt hasn't even opened. We're the first ones here. Um, it's an empty baggage. We might be a while here until our bag comes out. It's very, very misty, very foggy. You can barely see like a meter in front of you right now. We're waiting for a taxi now. It's a 40 minute drive into Oslo. It's quite a long way. From Grill on the way. Right, so we made it to the hotel, but the unfortunate thing is we can't check into a three because the room is not ready. We've got here. A, quite a bit earlier than we thought it would. So we're gonna go around Oslo um, and find somewhere for lunch. So we've just come for lunch. Um, the hotel is just opposite the street. We just asked them, would you recommend anywhere to come for lunch? Uh, and they literally said there's a cafe across the road, so we're here now. And our taxi driver was telling us that one of the main, like all the local dishes, fish soup. Um, and they have it on the menu here, creamy fish soup. Said it is the best thing he's had um, in Norway. I'll stick to his uh, recommendation. We tried the local dish in Denmark, small and now we've got to continue it in Norway. It looks pretty tasty, it's got like three different types of fish inside it. it looks very nice. All right, let's give it a, let's give it a try. Very nice. Nice and salty and tastes fresh. I don't know if it'll come up, come up on camera, but probably won't, but it's so cool that when you breathe, you can see your breath. Always fun to do. It's definitely fresh, uh, which is quite nice because Copenhagen wasn't actually that cold. It, no, some of the days we were there was like 12, 15 degrees, same as London. But now we're getting to proper, proper Scandinavian Arctic condition. Right, so behind me is the Royal Palace, which is the, the Oslo's equivalent of Buckingham Palace. Um, also very nice, not as big though. In Denmark, we don't really do much like history stuff or museum stuff. And also, a lot of the, the main stuff to do are museums and stuff, so that's why we're going to check out these kind of old. Art the exploration museums. We're trying to find the uh, bus stop to get on the local bus all the way to this peninsula. It's about 25 minutes away from here. Hi. With yeah. the buses here, can you pay like with contactless, with card? You need like a no. ticket. You can. I mean, like one hour, one ticket. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. All right, we are on the bus, bus number 30. It's a really complicated to work out. The client lady told me you have to get like an app. It's cool. To bill it because um, you can't pay by, by card. I got a 24 hour ticket so I can go around Oslo for the whole day. And it was like 10 quid, which is actually quite a lot. Low experience, little fun adventure in Oslo, trying to work out how to work out the local bus system. It's always fun. So we are on the bus right now. Um, we've got to go around here, and this is the peninsula here we're going to, where all the museums are. So we have made it to all the museums. Unfortunately, along the way, my bag's broken. I bought it from Primark for like four quid, and it's lasted me in Belgium and in Denmark. But I literally just got off the bus, the bag broke, broke. So it's not really ideal. I'm having to carry my bag around like this now for the rest of the time. And just in the background is the Oslo Fjord. All right, there are three museums in, in this peninsula. Um, this is the first one. It is called the Flat Museum. This is about art exploration, so we're gonna have a look in here. Um, first one. All right, we're currently in an igloo in the museum. It's what they used to cook with here. They used to sleep on these. That's the entrance there. Tiny. Imagine people living in here, like insane. It's so cramped and so claustrophobic. All right, this is. Do you have enough strength to pull a laden sled through the snow? Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's that's all you can go. So young They went to the South Pole and the North Pole. These guys. And the main man, Ronald Amund. Ronald Am 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 Bit of history today. Right, I'm currently recording on a Canon M50 Mark II. And then here, we've got Ronald Amundsen recording on one of these. Um, this is his personal camera. Look how, look how different that looks. Right, it's pretty insane because the race of South Pole is nothing. Basically, UK v Norway. Um, not football, but in racing to the South Pole. Right, so now we're at the Dog Sledge um, exhibit. And according to this, going to be reading off here. The sledges that they were able to pull to the pole weighed around 30 kg and there are 97 different dogs on board to Norway. And this is the sledge they used. This is the actual dog sled with all the material on it. And this weighed around 30 kg with all their, their goods. I was just looking at that I thought I was cold but these guys were like literally six layers of pure like animal skin. Yeah, no North Face for them but yeah, it must have been freezing cold. This is the main ship of the Fram Museum. This is the ship that they use. Push the big buttons enter. 
Alright, let's go inside here. Don't know what we're doing in here. Let's get in here. A little adventure. It's just an Arctic adventure. Oh wow. You can barely, you literally cannot see me at this point. I think this is where they left dead people. I'm presuming. Uh, so you've got one man here. Uh, he's completely dead, and the other one up there as well, just rotting away in the back ship. This is like, I think when the back calls of the boat, all we saw was just two dead bodies. Oh, brilliant. Oh, we're now going on board the main ship, the flam ship. Much bigger than I thought it would be. It doesn't look as big when you're downstairs, but... Because men lived on it for like four or five years, so they had everything on it that you could even imagine. It's like playing uh, Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. You get the joke, you get the joke. Also, one thing I've noticed is because the men were so much smaller back then, like everything, all the ceilings are so low. And you've got a duck now to get into everything, but back in the day, this used to fit the men perfectly. Now, at the second museum, what we came to look at is called the Contiki Museum. Here we go into the second museum. By me, it's one of the ex things they use. This is called the RA2, all made out of wood. Um, it's like a raft boat. Morocco, um, all the way to Barbados, and they hand constructed it. Um, we're now watching the second movie, this one about, I actually don't know, find out some more history about art of the exploration. Right, so there's both museums done, the Fram Museum and the Contiki Museum. They don't normally do museums, I haven't been to a museum for a while. But overall, good experience, learn something new about expeditions. And now we're going to get the bus back to the hotel, we'll be able to check in, get our bags ready, and we're going out again this evening to the High Street and the op Royal Opera House, so that should be good. It is now a lot later in the evening, we've just been chilling in the hotel and we're going out for dinner. Apparently the hotel said they have like really nice restaurants along the river or harbour, whatever it is there. Uh, Sorry, I can't. House is We've got some sushi here, some fried rice, some ribs, some fried rice, and some cauliflower. All looks so tasty. Alright, that's dinner done. Uh, another great meal, so tasty. And now we're gonna try find the Oslo Opera House. And at night, it looks like it's all lit up. Get some photos of it. Um, dash them on the Insta. Go follow it at Harry Nuff and Travel on Instagram. Alright, so right behind me is the famous the Royal. I'm just gonna hear it's the Royal Opera House. You can walk up, it's like a slanted roof. It's so much nicer at night as well because it's all lit up inside so you get a better photo. Um, and the glass looks way nicer. Good to see the city. Uh, and it's free as well. You don't have to pay anything to come up here. You've just got to use your, uh, your stamina and fitness because it's, you probably can't see it on the camera but it's so steep to climb. We're going to do it to try and get some pictures for the gram. My theory is with a lot of these things, it's like you're only going to be here once. You're only going to be on the roll up upper house roof once at night. Why not, you know, go to the top? Just always say yes. Look at the view behind me, I was there. We've climbed it all the way from the bottom. That's it for today. If you did enjoy, give a like, subscribe, share the video. Um, any support is appreciated, and tomorrow should be a more exciting day. Less museums, and hopefully, it won't be another history. Thank you for watching.